Indianapolis, the Circle City, Indy. A destination for many, it's home to more than 850,000 Hoosiers. It's also home to countless smaller destinations for visitors and locals alike. On the south side, you'll find Indy's oldest city park. Established in the late 19th century, Garfield Park is home to a performing arts center, walking trails, a conservatory, and the beautiful Sunken Gardens, designed by landscape architect George Edward Kessler. Today, as in Kessler's time, this three-acre site features European-style formal gardens, fountains, and paved brick walkways. Just east of the Sunken Gardens, you'll find the Garfield Park Conservatory, home to hundreds of different plants from the world's tropics. Travel north past the Indiana State House, and you'll reach the Canal Walk, on most days filled with walkers, runners, bikers, and sightseers. On the north end of the Canal Walk sits the USS Indianapolis CA-35 Memorial. Created in the shape of the cruiser itself, this gray and black granite memorial features the story of the ships sinking on one side and the names of those lost on the other. To the east stands the Indiana War Memorial, formally dedicated on November 11, 1933. This 210-foot tall structure, clad in Indiana limestone, is the centerpiece of the World War Memorial Plaza a decades-long effort by the city of Indianapolis to lure the newly formed American Legion from its temporary home in New York City. On the south side of the memorial, in the center of the Grand Stairs, stands Pro Patria, a bronze by American sculptor Henry Herring. Standing 24 feet high and weighing seven tons, it was, at the time of its casting, the largest bronze sculpture in the United States. Near the top of the memorial, and repeated on all four sides, are six figures, again by Herring. Courage, memory, peace, victory, liberty, and patriotism. The plaza is a sequel of sorts to Indy's best known memorial, the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. It was designed by German architect Bruno Schmitz, and it was the first monument in the United States to honor the common soldier. At its peak stands Lady Victory, designed by Ohioan George Thomas Brewster. Dedicated in 1902 and rising nearly 300 feet above Monument Circle, it has become a lasting and iconic symbol of Indianapolis.